There's the old tried and trusted paper glider. Let's give it a go. Hmm, not bad, but you can do better. You can do better, in fact, with this stuff, because this is a foam ceiling tile. And sold like this, one square foot or one foot square of polystyrene foam, or 30 centimetres. And if you can't buy them like that, it doesn't matter, because you can get a sheet and cut them out of anything like that. It doesn't have to be uh, 30 centimetres square. Any square will do, within reason. But you should end up with something about that size. Well, they fly very well. Not like this. A bit like an inferior frisbee. You have to make them rather like the paper glider in shape. And you do it in this way. Take the square and along one side you find the midpoint, which if this is 30 centimetres square will be at the 15 mark. Here we are. And take that midpoint back to the opposite corners. Here we go. One line there and the other line there. And foam is good because you can cut it, if you're very careful, with a craft knife. Lie the ruler along the line. And don't throw away the bits of triangle that come off because they're going to be useful, at least one of them is. But what you're left with in the middle is going to be the wings of your glider. And here it is. In fact, before you go any further, find the midpoint of the back of the wings. Once again, that's going to be 15. And draw a line from that up to the point. Because you want to be able to find the midpoint of those wings. And there it is. Let's put that to one side. Now, the fuselage, or the body of the glider, is going to be made out of one of these. But they're a bit big as they are. So, take the back of them, or one of them, find the midpoint, or close to it, and join that to the sharp point and with a craft knife very carefully cut along the line. And by throwing away the bit you don't want you've got yourself the makings of the glider because that part is going to glue onto the line there or other way around like that and you can see the basic shape of the glider. All you have to do is to get some glue that works on foam. Some don't. Some dissolve it and uh, chew their way into it, but this white PVA glue is very good. Line of glue there, and the triangle stuck on it like that. If you're in any doubt, pin it in place and leave it. And if you do, it'll come out like this. You can see, there's the old glider shape. Does it fly? Well, let's give it a go. Hmm, not too good, because it was tail heavy. And the easiest way to remedy that is to make it nose heavy with nothing more sophisticated than that. A one cent coin as a weight. And this is what you do. Put the one cent coin down and take a strip of sticky tape and stick that onto the coin so it's in the middle of the tape. Now you take the glider, the one you've just been throwing, and stick the one cent coin at the point of the front of the wings so that it doesn't overlap them. You can see it's still got white foam all the way around it. Stick the sticky tape down, it, it glues well to, uh, to foam, and that is, I think, all you'll need. That weight should make it fly very well. Let's give it a go now. Hmm, almost too good. Goes in a boring straight line. Give it the controls other aircraft have when they turn left and right. And that is flaps. Make them out of cardboard and stick one there and one there. The finished result will be like this. And whichever flap you turn up will make the aircraft turn in that direction. So if I put the left flap up and the right flap down, the aircraft should turn to the left. Let's see if the theory's okay. <laughs> 